In this video, we're going to go over the toggle button and how to handle the action and click event in JavaFX. It's worth noting that in JavaFX, the toggle button and the checkbox work identically when it comes to handling its selection state. So let's go ahead and start with the toggle button. Here we um, are going to set up its action event in the FXML. And let's go ahead and set up the text property to be bound in the controller as well. So we'll do that here. And we need to make sure that we have our public getter and setters here. Now we're ready to handle the button click event. And you'll see this looks just the same as the regular button click event as, par as far as the method signature. What's different is we actually have to take into account the state that the button is in. In other words, it is a toggle button, so is the is it toggled or not and when it is toggled we're going to set the text and the button to on otherwise we're going to turn it off and I'll show you what that looks like so here's our toggle button and now we've turned it on and we've turned it off so that is how you can handle using the toggle button through the regular action events the next method I'm going to show you is by handling the is selected property and registering a listener to that. So we're going to comment this out. We're going to go into our FXML and we're going to get rid of the on action handler. And we're going to, in the initialize method, we're going to register for the is selected property change. I'll show you how to do that. This is actually the method that I usually use. Here we have our button and we're registering a listener to the selected property. In this case, the listener gives us both the old value and the new value. We only care about the new value. This is a Boolean and it, it is selected here. So this is the is selected state. And again, we're going to change our text to be either on or off depending on whether the button has been selected or not. So you'll see here the result is exactly the same and it's just the mechanism by which we have registered for the event is different. There's one more thing I want to show you. We can actually turn this toggle button into a checkbox. I'm going to do that really quick. I'm not going to change any of the names. I'm just going to change it, change the widget to a checkbox to show you that you can actually um, swap out this code. All right, so now we're going to run it as a checkbox instead of a toggle button. And now with the same, all we changed was the toggle button to a checkbox, and now you'll see this is working exactly the same way. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video was how to handle the isSelected event on checkboxes and toggle buttons.